Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna talk all about using a native query in Power BI Desktop. Okay, so native query. There was a conversation, some comments on the video I did about where do you make your column when you're using Power BI. Really good comments, a great conversation. And I decided let's just continue the conversation with a video. And so the, this, the main point of the comments were, Patrick, you talk about we should do all of our transformations either at the source, using a view, use Power Query, or use DAX as a last resort but you didn't say anything about native query. And you're right, I didn't. And so where does native query fit? Native query fits right between the view and power query, but it depends. I hate to give you the consultant answer, but it absolutely depends. And you gotta remember this, right? If you're using the native query, the native query is only supported, it's typically, typically supported by relational data sources. So make sure your uh, source can support, your backend source can support this, okay? And so, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Some of you guys may even not even know what a native query is. Okay, enough of this talking. You guys know what I like to do. Let's head over my laptop and let me show you how native query works, all right? The first thing you do is you get your query. So here's my query. I'm only pulling what I need and this is gonna go against the SQL server. Then you choose get data, choose your relational database source. I'm gonna choose Azure SQL database. So we're gonna go Azure, Azure SQL database, click connect. Now what you see here, I'm gonna put my database name and then I'm gonna put the name of the database and then you'll see an option for import a direct query. I'm gonna choose import and you click advance, right? And so in the SQL statement text box, you can place a, a valid SQL statement or actually a store procedure run, but you need to be careful when you use store procedures because if you go into direct query mode, it doesn't support store procedures, right? I've read some blog posts and some comments about you know, hacking it through, but just don't do it, all right? And then when you're using native query and store procedures, be careful, don't use things that drop objects, insert data, just use store procedures or queries that return data, all right? You're just reading data, okay? All right, so you pop your query in. So I'm gonna paste my query here, and then I'm gonna click okay. And then from here, it's very similar to if you were importing the data, okay? It's very similar to if you were importing data. And then you see load, but instead of seeing a list of objects to pull from, you actually get the you know a, abbreviated set of the data that the query returns. Go ahead and click transform data. Always click transform data because it's probably some stuff you have to do. But this brings me to a very, very important point about using a native query. And so here I'm gonna give this a name that goes with the with all the other queries. So I'm gonna rename this really quickly. Just give it a better name. It's okay, right? Okay. And so basically this is a native query and I have a column and I'm gonna create a query, um, I'm gonna add an additional column using the query editor, okay? But I wanna point out some stuff. So watch this. So I'm gonna go here, right? And I'm gonna add a column. I wanna add a column that sums these three across, right, for each row. So I'm gonna go to add column, choose the standard mathematical uh, icon here and choose add. It's gonna add my column and let's just call this total sales. Got it? So all I did was add an additional step after I imported the data. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. But there's a capability, a feature, whatever you wanna call it inside of uh, the query editor called query folding. If I import data, then add, some, then add a step. Not all, not all transformations um, are supported by query folding, but a good bit of, bit of them are, and maybe I'll come and do a video to kind of dig into this. Um, but if you import the data, then query folding kicks in. Well, it gives you an indication that query folding is kicked in. And so, for example, let me show you, and then I'll come back to this one, let me show you. So this is a, a view that I've imported. And if you go to here and right click, you'll see in the context menu that appears, view native query. And so if I click view native query, what you'll see is just the query, right? Just the query that it requires to pull the data. If I continue down the steps all the way to the very last step, you see I inserted my calculated column and then I renamed the column. If I go here, right, view native query is still enabled. If I click it and scroll down, it's gotta prepare the query. 
and you'll see, right, the name of the column and then the calculation that I did. It's all pushed back to the source, okay? And so query folding kicks in, it builds that single query, it pushes that single query back to the source, it's great. Now, if I go to my native query one, right, where I imported just that query, and then I add in my calculated column, if I go to the source, let's take a look at this. Let's start at the beginning, let's be fair, let's be fair, like we did the import, right click, it's not enabled, right click again, not enabled, right click again, not enabled, right? So what happens is when you go into native query, when you choose a native query, no query folding happens after that, all right? All the transformations that you bring in after that, they're either pushed, the gateway is gonna have to man, uh, handle it, the, uh, the mashup engine, the Power BI server is gonna have to handle it, and it could slow your refreshes down, okay? Um, and so if you can, you should push all this stuff back to the source, and then if you wanna verify or validate, and I'm gonna show you how to push it back to the source, um, you wanna verify or validate if query folding is kicked in. The only true way to verify or validate this is to use a profiling tool against your database. And so from a SQL Server perspective, or you know, from a SQL Server or an Azure SQL perspective, you can use Azure Data Studio, or you can use the SQL Profiler, right? Um, and so just depending on which version of SQL Server you're running. And so what I did was, I used Azure Data Studio if you go here, and so this is the one where I'm using the, the first the first query that you're looking at right here is I use the native query and then I added some steps. Um, the I concatenated, I add the three columns up to create the total sum, and you can see there's nothing here, right? There's no query folding kicking in, and this is going back to my source. So this particular this is an extension installed in Azure Data Studio. Whenever a refresh happens, it captures those queries that's going back to my source, and I can see the actual queries that's run, and you can see it's not happening here. So it's got to happen somewhere. If I'm using that native query, some part of Power BI has to bear the brunt of all those additional steps, okay? And then if you go look, this is for the one where I did the import. I import it and I add the, added the steps. And then you can see the actual query that's being run with the total sales and the case to do the concatenation of those columns. And so this just validates that query folding is actually taking effect for my import, but it's not when I use native query. So you gotta be really, really careful when you new, use native query. And just like I talked about in the other video, you try to push as much of it as you can back to the source. And that's what I did on the very last thing I wanna show you. So I modified the query slightly. Let's go over to Management Studio. I modified the query slightly, and you can see right here, Instead of adding those additional steps, what I did was I created a calculated column, right? A, a very, very loose sense of the word. I created a column that calculates the total sales in my view. And then if I go back to Power BI in the query editor, that's what this third query is, where it says native query column and SQL. And I just imported it. There's no additional steps because if I did add additional steps, they wouldn't push it back to the source. Query folding wouldn't kick in. And then the gateway, like I said, or the service, something will have to bear the brunt of doing that calculation for me. Right? Okay, right. I hope this, I hope this clears things up. So the native query goes between if I don't have access to my source and I can't get somebody to create a review for me use native query, just be very careful when you use native query because you need to make sure that you do all your transformations in this query, okay? I hope that adds to the conversation, I hope it clears it up. If not, if you guys got more questions, comments, let me know, you know what to do, post it in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.